Hello everybody, Critter Catch Hello everybody, Critter Catchers here, and today I'm going to be showing you some of my lures, my bass fishing lures, and all other sorts of lures. Um, so I'll just start off with spinners, and this is a spinner that you would use in springtime or summer. Spinners you'd use in springtime, summer. Um, it has got a golden little spinner for bre like sort of um, murkyish water and a, like a silverish, uh, color spinner for whenever it's super sunny out and it can just flicker around. Um, I really like this lure because it has a, I can't remember what it's called, I'm just going to call it a double hook, but you put a, a hook right after you put this other hook on and it just increases your, a better chance of catching a, a fish. Um, like in instance, bass. Um, but this is a really good spinner. Um, but, yeah, that's that's one spinner. And here's another, another little spinner. This is like any other... Oh. This is like any other spinner. But it doesn't have a triple hook. Like, well... It has like a half treble hook. And my goodness, if I can get this out of the other other hook, the other door, then I can actually show you guys. Eh. Man, the struggle is real. I don't know, but that's that one just like any other any other spinner but it's a lot smaller it only has one little spinner and um oh my gracious if you if you okay if you look at this it has one 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 hook but if you didn't like pretend that one's not there that one has one hook these this one has like two hooks with each other like that um just like if you would ever see a lure like a, a crankbait, they would have like a treble hook. They would have like three hooks of it. And that one's that. My gracious, it's so weird. Okay, I got it, finally. Jeez, there it is. So... That one's that, and I just have this one out right now, so that, that's how big they both are to each other. So, cut those two down, I have like 14 billion to go. Oh yeah, this is my new tackle box, that one's my old one, it's very, very, very dirty, but, <sighs> so, another spinner, let's call it spinners. Now, this one has a bunch of spinners, just like a bunch of little spinner thingies, just to attract more fish. I don't, I don't know why they'd put more on, but those little beads are weights. And this one is a, um, I'd say just, I, oh yeah, this one is a red-eyed shad color. That one is a peacock bass color, and that one is a ripple shad color. Um, but this one is red-eyed shad. Uh, just little white minnows that go around and bass really like to eat them. Um, and just those little things increase your chance of catching another fish. Um, this is a shrimp. I don't know why I have it in my freshwater section. But I actually just found this on the ground one time. And yeah, it just has a little weight in there. And you catch a, a stingrays, flounder, um... Redfish, which are also called um, channel bass, or spot, um, no, channel bass, or uh, red drum, and catch a black drum with that too. Um, and this, this is a mouse. Um, I don't know why bass would eat a mouse, but bass would eat anything to, and this is, I'm being absolutely serious, bass would eat anything to um, lizards, grubs, crickets, to even baby alligators, um, and I guess they would eat mouse, um, um, 
mice and stuff. I've seen some videos where people have caught um, bass with a mouse, mouse lure. So, is that? Here's a, oh yeah, that's hollow belly, by the way, so it, it floats. So this is a, a small hollow belly frog. Um, very squishy, and they, oh, no, oops, and they float on the top of the surface. Um, you usually use these in the springtime. You cast them out near lily pads, and you just, like, kind of pop it, pop it on top of the water. And that one is I th just a regular bullfrog. And I have, this one's my um, old one. This one is, like, a really, these, this brand that makes these are very, very good. This is, um, I don't know what brand it is, but they make some really good hollow bellies. I've actually gotten some bites with this. Um, as you can see, it's very damaged from a bunch of the bites. Um, but, yeah, you do the same with this. It's hollow belly, and it'll float on top of the water, and it's pretty nice. Uh, let's see here. I think I have one more hollow belly in here. Yeah, I do. This is the hollow belly bullfrog. Um, this one's a really weird, wacky color, and it's a lot bigger, but with, I don't know, they just have smaller little thingies. And this one's a hollow belly, by the way. This one's hollow belly, too. Um, and yeah, he just did the same with the other hollow bellies. Um,. Not sure what this is called, but oh my goodness, like it's like a jointed bait sort of. It's soft plastic jointed. It's hung up again, but oh goodness. So, so that's a jointed soft plastic lure. It sinks. I have a really big weight in there, like right, right in the head and stuff. It's not squishy, but in the back, it's pretty pretty squishy. It's got one treble hook. That that's a treble hook right there. Um, this is mimicking a mullet or shad. Um, I've never got any bites on this before, but. It looks very, 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 very real, and it has those little joints, so it moves really good. It's not too stretchy, but yeah, catch some bass on there. And so, this is a deep diver crankbait. This thing, uh, I've never caught anything on this. Um, use these mostly in lakes, and it has a it has a rattle on there to attract bass. So. That is a deep diver, and how it like, how it wiggles, like it wiggles like this, and how it does that is that little lip right there, and the longer it is, the more deep it goes. So this one's this one's like huge. It's about as big as my hand. That's a really 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 big crankbait, and that one's mimicking a a shad, I guess. Um, 